Hey everybody, this is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to swap out the PS3 hard drive for a bigger drive. Put a smaller one if you want, but I'm going to show you how to do a bigger drive. All that you need for this is your PS3, obviously, a Phillips head screwdriver, make it a small one, I'll show you why in a little bit, some sort of flat edge to um, wiggle off the little case there, I'm just using a little uh, uh, flat head screwdriver bit, and a hard drive. Any notebook hard drive, a two and a half inch hard drive will work, it has to be a serial ATA drive, but that's pretty much all they are nowadays. Um, we ordered a bunch of 160 gig drives off of Newegg. They were like 60 or 70 bucks. Um, so I'll show you how this bit works. Now, optionally, and this is probably the best thing to do, is if you happen to have a rather large external drive, um, you can back up everything on your hard drive to it, then restore it all, and your system is exactly the same as it was before. If you don't have that, you could use a flash drive, copy off all your saves, and then just copy them back over when you're done. Um, but, of course, any sort of game installs you had before or any downloaded games, you'd have to do that part over again. Fortunately, your username stay. It'll save your uh, PlayStation login and password and all that kind of stuff. Your trophies don't automatically go. They're stored online. So before you do any of this, you should you know, go and sync your trophies just to make sure. But the rest of it's pretty simple. So first, I'm going to show you guys the backup part. Here's my PS3 that we're restoring, which is a launch 60 gig system. And here's a little, I think this is a one terabyte external drive, so I'm just going to sync that. Um, so all you do, this is pretty simple, you go to the cross media bar, um, scroll under the settings thing to the system settings, and then you will find in here, buried in all of this jarble, the backup utility. You just click that, you see a thing that says backup or restore data on the hard disk, whatever we want to back this up. So you click that, uh, it says do you want to back up the data on another storage media, um, if you do it on a different PS3, it won't be restored, blah, 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 pick yeah, and then pick your drive. And now we basically sit here for a while. This can take quite a long time depending on how big your drive is, so go take a nap, make a sandwich, you know, whatever, go out for dinner. Um, and then eventually it'll be copied over and then we can restore it. And so once this part's done, we'll fast forward, I'll come back and I'll show you how to actually replace the drive itself. So my backup completed took about an hour. Uh, it seems to be pretty standard from what everybody's saying. So. Uh, I've just backed out of the backup thing, you just pick OK. Now the next thing to do is to actually turn off the system. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to unplug my little backup drive, Dealy Go. Wait for it to shut down. There we go. So, here's the PS3. If you turn it this way, you see the little thing that says HDD. That's where the hard drive goes. You stick it right here. So now what you want to do is just, there's no screw here, you just pop off this cover, pop it off on the right side, there's a little tab over here. So I'm just using a little um, flathead bit. I'm just gonna kind of jam this in there and it'll pop out like this. See, and there's a little tab here. So here's your drive inside of here. The first thing you need to do is take a little Phillips head and unscrew this one blue screw here. Whoops. Do it like this. Comes out pretty easy. And then grab this little metal thing and the drive slides to the right before it comes out. So you'll see it comes over and then you just pull it straight out. And now you notice the connectors here when the drive goes in it actually connects to the side. So here's your drive. You've got two screws on each side. So you just unscrew these and then the drive comes out, put the new one in, screw that back on. These screws are pretty tiny so make sure to be careful and not strip them. But other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so this one is free. The drive just slides out like this. Here's your case. Take your new drive, stick that back in there. Slides in like so. Now I just screw it back into place. All right, so my drive is all ready to go, nice and solid. So now I just slide it back in with a little, this thing on this side. Goes in like, it's supposed to go in like, there it goes. Pull a little tab to kind of help. And now it goes to the left. Make sure it slides all the way in so this part here kind of lines up. We're ready to go. All you have to do is slide this deal back on. And the actual drive part is complete. Now we can plug the PS3 back in. And now I haven't backed anything up yet, so if you don't have a backup drive, you'll get to see how the system still 
works here. So first it'll say hard drive must be formatted. It'll erase everything, but it's brand new, so there's nothing on it. So pick yes. Um, yeah, everything's gonna get deleted, that's fine. This goes pretty fast. Only takes a few seconds. There, that is done. Then the system restarts. So we're back up and running. And as you can see, even though I haven't backed anything up yet, my, all my users are still on here. Let me hit the PS button. So I'm still up on here. I can hit my name. Uh, apparently a media server is broken, but that's fine. Um, so you can see none of my videos. Of course, none of that stuff is there. But my PlayStation ID is still saved onto the system, so that automatically signs me in. My friends list is there, so that's all cool. So if I didn't have a backup drive like I do, I could just put back in a flash drive and copy my saves over manually. Since I did back up everything to my drive, I can just plug that in, make sure this thing is on. Now I just come back over to where I was before under system settings and choose the backup utility and just pick restore. And then it'll say, do you want to restore everything? Everything on the drive will be deleted. That's perfectly fine. Pick yes. I'm going to restore from, you know, the only thing that's plugged in. And now we wait another hour or whatever that's going to be. So um, back up data. So I guess you can back up multiple times. Yes, I do want to restore. You have to keep telling yes. There it goes. So now formats the drive again, which it already did. But now, you know, we'll just have to basically sit here for an hour. And then once everything goes through, my system should be exactly as it was before. Except now, in this case, I'm going to have an extra 100 gigs of hard drive space on there. So that's pretty cool. You should make sure to save your old drive just in case something goes wrong. You've got your backup on here. If you forgot to, you know, if you didn't do the whole backup thing, you, you can put this back in and get your saves going again. Um, so that's pretty cool. And just in case something happens with your new drive, you're going to want to have the old one. Um, other than that, if you don't care, you can put this in a notebook if you wanted to. But that's pretty much it. A um, lot of waiting, but the actual mechanical part's very simple. So there you go. It's a pretty uh, nice, cheap, and easy way to upgrade your PlayStation 3 hard drive store more games, get more downloadable content, and uh, you know more songs for Rock Band. So there you go. Oh.